What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. Today I'm doing a video on installing a new lens. Uh, I've just had this lens delivered. This is a 3 inch lens for my laser. It's a ZNSE type lens which is the same as the 2 inch lens I currently have installed. Personally I think these are the best type of lens for uh, a 40 to 60 watt laser. The clarity on there is really good uh, for comparison. So this is the stock mirrors and lens that came with the laser. Uh, so I'll just compare these two side by side. So this is the stock. Uh, I think it's Z CVD, the lens that comes as stock. And it's kind of opaque. Can't really see through it that well. And then you've got... Try and do this. I'm not very good with my left hand. I'm not, I just don't want to drop it. So you can see the difference in those two, how the ZNSE is kind of clear and the, I'm sure it's CVD, um, is opaque. This one's slightly thinner as well. So what I'm going to do, because this is a new lens, uh, I'm going to need to do a ramp test so I can focus this into the right point so I know the height of the bed needs to be to be able to cut. So I'm going to show you uh, an engraving using the 2 inch lens. So I'm going to do an engrave and a cut with a 2 inch lens. Uh, and then I'm going to do an engrave and a cut with the 3 inch lens just to see what the difference is. Now I'm not going to be using the 3 inch lens that much for engraving but if I can engrave and cut with it and get good results then it will help in the future. The 2 inch lens is suited better as an all round kind of lens. Um, if you want really fine details you want like a 1 inch lens because that will get a really fine point and you get really really fine details on that but it's not great for cutting you can't really cut that deep with it. The 2 inch lens is ok for both uh, and the 3 inch lens you should be able to cut thicker material and that is what I'm hoping from it so we're going to do some testing we're going to see what we can do with this 3 inch lens and we're going to go from there so first of all I'm going to put the 2 inch lens in well I'm going to leave the 2 inch lens in and I'm going to use 6mm MDF for this because the 2 inch can cut 6mm MDF but I have to slow it pretty slow 6mm a second at 60% power that's what I found works for me um, using my 50 watt laser. So we're going to get that all set up, we're going to focus the 2 inch lens in and then we're going to do a ramp test with a 3 inch lens, find a focus point for that. I'm going to make a spacer at that focus point and then we're going to do the same test and we're going to see what the difference is. Hopefully this will cut through the 6mm better than what the 2 inch does and I'm hoping I might be able to get a little bit thicker as well so we'll just see we'll push it to its limits and we'll see what we can get all right guys if you don't know what a spacer is it's one of these to try and get that there uh i've had to write on here two inches now um because obviously now i've got a three inch and i don't want to get mixed up so this is my two inch spacer i should be able to tell because this one should be about an inch lower anyway um but you just put it underneath you raise your bed until it's touching and that's your focal point uh, so I'm going to show you how to make one of these, uh, but first we're going to do a test cut on the 6mm uh, with just my logo again. I'm just going to engrave it and cut it out on the 6mm. I'm going to use the same piece uh, and I'm going to test the 3 inch on there as well. So we're going to see what we're going to get. The thing I'm looking for mainly is at the side because um, when you cut through the 6mm you end up with a, a bit of an angle because of the way the beams align.
that's the 6mm cut with the 2 inch lens it's a pretty good cut it's not too bad but it does lean in from the back to the front it's not a 90 degree cut so it's not amazing um, and that's because of the way the focal point works uh, the focal point is set to the centre of here but when it comes to the other side it comes through on an angle it's still got that little bit of power to be able to cut it but as you can see like with the start and finish it's not perfect but it's, it's good enough and it's serviceable so let's get the 3 inch lens on we'll do the ramp test and then we'll get the spacer cut for that one and then we'll do the test again on the same 6mm and we'll see what we can do from there Alright guys, so that's the 3 inch lens now installed, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a test fire onto this piece of wood just to get a rough estimate of where I think the focal point should be and that's obviously just the smallest dot that you can get on there, so let's have a look. So, I don't know if you can see that, but this tiny little dot here where it's shot all the way through instantly see it a little bit easy on the back was sat on the deck there so so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rough measurement just from the head here because it's easier to measure to which is 135 millimeters because what I need to do now is when I do my ramp test which is just getting this piece of wood and putting it at an angle like this I want around the middle of the piece of wood here to be around 135 millimeters so around there, so if I put a mark there that is now 115 so we drop this all the way down Hundred and twenty-five. So that's now a hundred and thirty-five mil there. So the setting we want is fairly low power. So we, we don't want to actually burn all the way through so we want around 20 to 30 percent power and we want a medium speed I'd say for your machine so I'm going to set mine at 20 millimeters a second at 30 percent power and then we're going to do the line test we're going to see the results and we're going to go from there Hopefully you can see the difference between this side to the line and then it gets really thin and then it goes wide again at that side. This is where you check your focal length. The finer point in the middle is where you want your focal point to be and you want to measure from the head of your laser, just at the bottom, to this point. So I'm going to do that now and that's the size we need for the spacer. So instead of fighting with a ruler and trying to get in, to do this. So instead of fighting with a ruler, I just use these blank speed pieces and I just sit them on the inside. That is almost perfect. Just like so. And luckily, that is all perfect which is a few pieces of 4mm and a piece of 3mm so with these all stacked together I can now measure that with a ruler it takes me to 43mm so that's the size I need to make my spacer so again I used my stack just to get myself lined up there as a temporary little spacer I've drawn my square on light burn and then we're going to get that cut out on here so 
we go, that's the spacer cut out nice and cleanly in the 4mm. That looks really good on there. The engraving on there is nice and deep as well. So we're going to get to the 6mm. Okay, so I've got that set. Uh, I'm going to use the exact same settings that I used on the 2 inch lens and we're going to check the difference when it's finished. There we go, this is the 3 inch lens, cut on there, it's roughly the same, can't say it cut much better or worse to be fair, looks very very similar. So this is the 2 inch, this is the 3 inch, there's not a whole lot of difference there. The two inches are a little bit darker from what I can see. Uh, just on the hair part at the top is a little bit darker on the two inch. But both of them give pretty good detail. They both give a pretty clean cut. So the whole point of me getting the three inch lens was to try and cut thicker materials. So I was already cutting the six mil. So it's kind of expected that they'd be very similar cutting through the 6mm because they can cut through at the same time. So that was both of the exact same settings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test to see if it'll cut through any thicker materials. I've got some 9mm and I've got some 12mm and I'm going to see if it'll cut through those and what settings I'd need for that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the circle for this, I'm not going to do the engraving, so let's see what we can do. So this is the 9mm piece I've got, I've focused that into the right point now. As you can see I've done some cuts out of this, I was testing the 2 inch lens and it took 5 passes to cut through this uh, at 9mm a second. So I'm going to set it 9mm a second, I'm going to do one pass at a time. Uh, and we're going to see when it drops through just to see how many passes it takes with the 3 inch lens. I'm hoping it will take 3 or 4 just to get through this, maybe even less and we can start cutting some thicker material and that will be brilliant for me in the future. Right, so that was three passes at nine millimeters a second. Uh, the third pass, I'd moved it slightly because uh, I thought on the second pass it had gone through because uh, you can see the smoke coming through underneath. But that is fairly straight. There, there's not really much of an angle on there at all, which is really good. Uh, I'm happy with that. I'm going to try and drop this down to six millimeters a second and we'll see if that can get through in two passes so let's give that a go That was really good. There was a tiny little bit that was held on just on this side here. I'm really, really happy with that cut. So I can now cut 9mm, which is brilliant. Um, almost by the looks of it, went through with a first pass because uh, you can see the smoke coming through from underneath again. Let's try some 12 and we'll see what we can do with that. So I've got a new piece of 12mm here. I'm going to stick this up in this corner and we're going to 
focus this in and we're going to hopefully be able to cut through the 12 as well so I've got this set to six millimeters a second at three passes because it went through the six it went through the nine mil at two passes so hopefully the third pass will get through the 12. So I need to redo my zero points because I've just knocked it off but these were temporary anyway, I'd only double sided taped them as is this laser bed. But we cut through 12, it took 4 passes and didn't really get through on that 4th pass so I think 9 might be our limit. Bearing in mind this is only a 50 watt laser uh, so I can cut 6 easily I can cut nine with a couple of passes and it's fine uh, I think 12 might be a bit out of the question it's doable uh, if you want to do four passes but I don't really recommend it it is a nice clean straight cut though so that's really good unfortunately my 50 watt laser just doesn't have the power to be able to cut through these but if you have a 80 watt laser then you probably could get through this in two or three passes so uh, yeah three inch lens is quite good it's a clean cut it's straight so that's the plus point I'm taking away from this I'm happy with the three inch lens like I said I can cut nine mil with two passes and that's made me quite happy that was worth it for the upgrade of this lens and yeah hopefully you took some useful information away from this. If you wanted to have a look at the different focal lengths and what they relate to in a more scientific way there's plenty of videos out there on YouTube. I'm just a guy that plays with his laser and this is what I know. So a 3 inch focal length with a 50 watt laser you can cut 9 mil with 2 passes, you can cut 12 mil with 4 passes just about uh, you could probably get through in five, so if you've got the time to be waiting for five passes, then you can cut the 12 mil. But if you've got a more powerful laser like an 80 or 100 watt, then you should have no problem getting through the 12 mil MDF. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video.